friends, it is Kanika this time and here we are going to discuss about the Coulomb's law. Basically, here we will discuss how the Coulomb's law helps in the nuclear model. So, as we know that like charges repel each other and unlike charges attract each other. For example, if there are two positive charges or two negative charges, they will repel among them. But if there are one positive charge and there is one negative charge, they will attract each other. So on the basis of this, Coulomb's law was given and this is the equation given by this law. That is, force is equal to K Q1 Q2 upon R square. Here, Q1 and Q2 are the magnitude of the charges and K is the Coulomb's constant and R is the distance between these charges. So, it discusses about how one of the particles exerts the force over the other particle. So, this Coulomb's law helps in the determination of the ionization energy. What is ionization energy? It is basically the removal of the electron from the outermost shell of a gaseous isolated atom. So, what happens? As we know that nucleus consists of positively charged species and surrounding shells contains the electrons. So, there is presence of the attractive force between this positive charge and between this negatively charged species that is the electrons. So, what happens due to the presence of the attraction between them, it becomes very difficult to remove the electron from that atom. So, what happens when the size of the atom is very large, the what happens that electron is very far from the positive charge. So, the removal of electron becomes very simple. But what happens if the size of the atom is very small, then positive charge will increase it will very easily attract this electron and it won't allow the removal of this electron. So, how the presence of different type of charges, the presence of different repulsive and attractive forces between them leads to the ionization energy of that particular atom. It is given by this Coulomb's law. Thank you.